Now, here's meteorologist TJ Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Just an amazing Mother's Day today with lots of sunshine, warm temperatures, just about perfection. We got another day of beautiful weather before big changes arrive. Let's take a look at what's, uh, I want to say a quick hello to actually first the kids at the Salesville Elementary School in Lincoln and I visited with the Weathermobile. Uh, earlier in the week, talked all about weather, read some books, part of their Reading Week celebration. Hello to them. Had a great visit there. Let's take a look at that hurricane barrier cam. We've got sunshine out there. I've seen a few boats coming by underneath the uh, bridge and through the hurricane barrier. Lots of people out in the water today. No surprise why. Beautiful weather. 79 in Providence, 75 in Smithfield, 77 in Coventry, Charlestown, 75. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar remains quiet. Should remain quiet through the rest of the evening. No problems at all. Plenty of blue skies. Temperatures in our capital city at 79 with a wind uh, fairly gusty from the west northwest at 17 miles an hour right now. The satellite radar picture showing not a whole bunch going on. Some clouds off to our south and west, some more off to our north and west, but we're just looking at lots of clear skies here. Now we are going to be watching this cold front very closely. It's going to be dipping into northern New England during the nighttime tonight through the daytime tomorrow. It will continue to work its way on off to the south. We're still looking at a warm day tomorrow with temperatures inland topping out around 80 degrees. We'll have some extra clouds around now on Tuesday. That cold front comes on off, uh, moves on off to our south, allowing northeasterly winds to build in and then it will be cooler. Lots of clouds around maybe a couple of showers, but I don't think we're looking at anything terribly widespread in terms of precipitation. In fact, our Futurecast computer shows this pretty well. We are looking at a blend of clouds and sunshine for the next couple of hours, mainly clear overnight. Quiet start to the day tomorrow, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Still lots of sun, some extra clouds arriving during the evening, though, but maybe just a couple of showers, and that's really about it. Now, for this evening, we are looking at temperatures to be falling down through the 60s with mainly clear skies starting off your day tomorrow with partly cloudy skies going to be dry with temperatures in the 50s in the afternoon upper 70s to around 80 degrees once again with a blend of sunshine and some clouds winds from the southwest 5 to 10 miles an hour 78 degrees or so in Warwick along the coastline with a wind off of the water It'll be a little bit cooler down here but still nice low to mid 70s up in northern Rhode Island approaching 80 degrees once again 79 in Woonsocket 78 Johnston 78 degrees in Situate over in southeastern Massachusetts temperatures should be topping out in the uh, 70s 70 Fall River 79 in Taunton with a, a dry day overall. Seven day future cast. We are expecting big temperature changes for Tuesday, starting out in the 50s and really not budging all that much, maybe only into the lower 60s. Chance of a couple of showers, I think mainly in the morning, but the rest of the day should be dry, but lots of clouds. Wednesday, maybe a spot shower or two, still kind of cool, gets a little milder. Thursday, Friday, we could be looking at some heavy rain working its way in, especially late in the day, maybe into the first part of the day on Saturday. Next Sunday looks mainly cloudy, but looks like it'll be dry. If only every day could be like today. Chamber of Commerce kind of day. Isn't it gorgeous? It is absolutely beautiful out there. All right, TJ, thanks so much. We're coming up on Eyewitness.